Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear and listening into another Pitch for Switch video. And this one is going to be about Dead or Alive 5 last round. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I see opportunity with this game that would be awesome. And from the way that they've been utilizing it for the 360, the Xbox One, PS3, and PS4 where they have so many different guest characters, because you have Jackie, Sarah, Pi, and Akira from Virtual Fighter. And you also have Mai Shuranui from the King of Fighters series. And I'm looking at, like, who else could be dropped in here? Like, who, what characters from Nintendo, particularly, would fit into this type of game? And I started to think about Punch-Out and the different, very unique characters that are in that series. Sure, their looks would have to be just a slight bit to kind of fit the style of Dead or Alive. But they would, I think they would work, especially like Little Mac with all the different moves that he has. Like he could, he could easily be adapted to uh, Dead or Alive and could be like a heavy hitter type character. He's fast, he's strong as all hell, but he, he he does have moves that would leave him wide open that could be adapted from Smash, but I think overall he would definitely work, like him and uh, just quite a, like there are so many different unique characters to punch out, it would be hard to, to currently narrow them down, but I think it could work out. And not only that, then you could also put in uh, Nintendo-based costumes. Like I said, they they went they went gung ho with the S and K costumes <laughs> for this game. They really went gung ho with the S and K and the anime costumes. And I'm like, they did that with Nintendo stuff and put it on the Switch. Yeah, they'd be making bank. They would they would be, they would be making a lot of money off of this game. Just for that, if they put it on um, a Nintendo platform, period. And that's why I'm like, it, it could work. It could definitely work. Yeah, obviously, I would personally be playing this with the Pro Controller. Like, and if I didn't have it, then I'd be using analog. But those buttons, those, <laughs> those buttons, I would not be using those to play the game like normally. But then think about it this way. You can also play it on the road automatically two players. You automatically out the box have two players for local play. Then you also have wireless connection to be able to play with people. And again, online play. Like so with with the way this the console is set up, you have so many variables that could really benefit this game. Like, that would be really good for it. And that's what makes me wonder, like, will there be companies putting out fighting games for this? Like, and it would be a missed opportunity just like it was on the Wii U. The Wii U was definitely primed and had plenty of space open for fighting games. And it's like nobody wanted to put them on it. Outside of, you know, virtual console and just re-releasing older fighting games, which... That's not a big deal, but at the same time, it's like you could have put some of the newer stuff on it. Like, damn! Come on, people. Um, and I think that would I think that would actually be pretty, pretty good. That would that would definitely work out very well for both Nintendo and uh. <laughs> damn it, <laughs> Tecmo! I I don't know. I don't know why my brain froze there. Wait, but that. That would be a partnership I think would be really good. And like and to have like the exclusive Nintendo characters to this game would give it that instant Nintendo credibility that a lot of loyal Nintendo fans look for. Like not necessarily saying people that think Nintendo are the best, but people that just like really game on Nintendo stuff. This would be really beneficial for them. Hell, even people that don't might even be interested in picking it up. Just because it has additional characters. 
and you have additional costumes that those that the already established characters in the game can wear. So, like that's that's really my thoughts on it. Anyone else want to give their say? Go ahead, do that in the comments down below. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff from me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.